hello everyone welcome to another beautiful video today's video is how will i wash my bitter leaf washing bitter leaf naturally without going through any shortcuts without having to add anything to my bitter leaf i'm washing this bitter leaf i'm sending it outside the country and not just this bitter leaf washing i also had to make my children to wash this bitter leaf for me because that was how i was also trained when i was very little i was made to wash bitter leaf though i see it as form of work but i had to do it so today i had to do the same thing so how do i start they couldn't handle this part i had to do it myself so that they won't have to stress me in washing the bitter leaf the first thing i had to do is make sure that i separate the leaf from the stem that is very important if you don't do that you are going to stay a very long time to wash your bitter leaf before you start feeling that sweetness so you have to remove just the pure leaf from the stem and start washing so that is what rightly i'm doing right now thank you so much all my subscribers for always coming back to wash ojalape space thank you may the good god bless you and if you're watching me for the very first time my name remains ojalape space thank you for coming to watch today's video in today's video we are talking about how to wash bitter leaf naturally how to wash your bitter leaf without adding anything to aid the bitterness away from your leaf so let's write on all you need is just your leaf and the start work as part of things i export outside the country a lot of people my clients they love bitter leaf and bitter leaf is very good with the health benefit of bitter leaf wherever you are all over the world if you don't have bitter leaf around you then you can always source for it in Africa so that you enjoy the benefit of bitter leaf. Now, what I do right now, it might take a longer time, but it's worth it because of what you're going to get from bitter leaf if it's washed. So now it's completely dry, we don't have water. So to wash it, all I'll just need to do have to make sure that the sticks are removed so that it will not take me too long to wash it them. At this time, we probably be so bitter, which we not like too much. Bring out the sweetest of bitter leaf in time. Now, there are different methods you can use in washing of your bitter leaf. You can add some things to it. You can add your potash and boil it. Just add your potash and boil it like for 
once it boils, it's okay. And immediately you wash it, it is the bitterness is gone. But this time around, I want it to be natural. I want it to I want to I'm going to be washing it. As you see, full washing it completely. No shortcuts. And I'm sun drying it direct after washing. So I want to experience the perfect. Let's ride down into the business of washing bitter leaves. So I'm making my kit to wash this bitter leaf. Though they don't know how to wash and this is their first time experiencing how to wash bitter leaf. Like when I was very small, I was made to wash bitter leaf, you know, in a normal washing. So though I don't find it funny, it was not something that I really like to do. But you have no choice. You have to do it. But this time around, I'm making my children to wash. And this is their first washing. After washing, we just add little water so that the juice from the bitter leaf can really come out. So this is their first set of washing. And I was trying to instruct them. They've not packed some parts. They packed some parts. So no leaves will be left unwashed. So that is important of trying to instruct them and i didn't really leave them completely to watch this bitter leaf by themselves i had to join them because this is their first time like i said earlier so it's not really easy for you for the first time to watch bitter leaf in the perfect way then how do you wash bitter leaf washing your bitter leaf you don't just wash your bitter leaf like you're bringing out the water and the leaves from the water no you have to pack the leaves and scrub it the normal way you wash clothes you try to wash it, scrub it against each other and make sure that the juice is actually coming out. So at this first stage, they were actually showing me and said, Mommy, I hope it is ready. I was like, hey, first start. It can never be ready. And so look at the first set, the first time. Look at the water. It shows, in fact, the green in the water, really, the juice makes it for anyone that is washing bitter leaf to realize that the bitter leaf is still so so bitter if your bitter leaf is not is clean you will see your water maybe a little bit greenish but slight green but this particular green let me say is deep green and deep green shows they still have some bitter in the leaves so i had to make them to start washing all over again this time around you have to make sure that you are scrubbing the bitter leaf and make sure that you see that the water is changing you don't just wash if the water is not changing you are not doing anything you are just sitting down playing it's a long process it's stressful though but it's worth it this bitter leaf a client asks for it and i had to do it and sundry like i said earlier so that's why we are going through the process of washing and you can also take advantage of this dry bitter leaf. During rainy season like this, you can get a lot of bitter leaf. That this bitter leaf, I bought a bunch for 15 naira per one. So I bought a thousand naira bitter leaf. So it's so much. Uh, and if you have such quantity dried at home, you can use it more than six months. You will even think of trying to get bitter leaf. So that is another advantage of going through this process. It's not every time you want to eat bitter leaf soup, you get your leaf and start washing. And I realized that some people take the advantage of going to the market to wash your already washed bitter leaf. I don't know why. I don't really like it. And I've never tried it buying washed bitter leaf in the market. I prefer washing my bitter leaf myself so you can see that this is a long process and they are still trying to make sure that they get every bitterness out of this bitter leaf now if you look at it we've poured the previous water and this time around we are not adding water why i ask them to wash the bitter leaf so well that uh, the juice will come out if the juice is coming out it will be easy for you to see that okay this is how far we've been able to wash this bitter leaf so that is what i'm making them to do and another thing you can observe as the wash is you can see it's foamy foamy shows that 
you are really doing some you are really washing this bitterly that's why it is foamy nothing was added no salt no cow no any other thing that you might think of that they had to eat hello guys welcome to today's video i am my younger brother we will wash um bitter leaf also known as it will ruin the local tongue in the local tongue so this is it like have you ever wondered why it becomes foamy when you wash it like who knows who god knows that so as you can see we are washing it so well and it's getting foamy we've washed it more than once twice or thrice just we are going to wash it until the bitterness has gone or until the bitterness is as low as we want it. So okay. as you can see, it's, a, see. it's for me. We, we have to wash, wash it. it well so as to squeeze out, see. The, so as to squeeze out the bitterness. We'll squeeze, right? we'll squeeze it. Look at it. It's no longer bitter, as you can see. The color, the color depends will even show you. Like, comment, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, comment, parents, do you make your children watch bitter leaf? Like, seriously, look at what my mom makes me do. My yeah. seriously, how is all my stream for this? So, you can share in the comment section if you make your children watch bitter leaf. This time, you see, with your younger brother, will leave you to do all the work alone in the name of going to the toilet. We're going to drink water now. I'm doing now. I'm only doing it. Well, the question was for this bitter leaf, um, leaf bitter leaf. They asked us to sun dry it for her so that it will be preserved pretty well. So I have to squeeze it and spread it on the tray. So I will sun dry it like this. Or well, my mom and I will sun dry it like this. I squeeze out the water first. Then I rub it against my phone to spread it. Seriously, where is that boy? 